Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for landing on this video. Now, as you understand by the title, this is gonna be a 3D Max modeling tutorial, which is gonna be a speed tutorial, and I'm gonna do a voiceover of the uh, X model from God of War 2018. Uh, this is the outcome you're gonna be able to see as you progress and follow the tutorial I'm gonna demonstrate here in a second. Now, everything has been created in Autodesk 3ds Max by simple polygonal uh, modeling techniques. If I just rotate around, you see that everything is in 3D. This is a, a block out of the mesh. It hasn't been uh, super detailed just yet, as I would need to use uh, ZBrush for detailing and sculpting. Uh, high frequency details, but if I go in standard mode, get out of the clay and do default shading, you see that the reference of this model is in front of me, and this is how the axe looks from God of War. And uh, please follow the tutorial, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to explain what I did, how I did everything to create the axe, uh, which looks like this. Okay, so let's jump into it and dive into the modeling right now. Alright, so I import the reference images into the 3ds Max, started with a simple cylinder and try to block out the shape of the axe itself, the sharp blades, uh, using just a plane, um, putting everything on Alt X just so I can see how the wireframes go, and just try to clean up the mesh as much as possible do simple cuts just to make everything more neat and uh, looking good and here I duplicate the same mesh just speed up the process and do the second half of the blade and connecting everything to the cylinder now if you want by the way if you want to guys click uh, the link below you're gonna be able to learn game development you'll be able to learn how to create axes like this this is basically a speed modeling tutorial because this blade took me around three hours to model and uh, yeah I, I, I think most of you guys wouldn't want to sit here for three hours and just watch me move vertices and polygons and how to develop this axe from the scratch so hence I'm creating this speed tutorial now as I have the blade shaped in using the poly uh, poly polygonal techniques I try to give a little thickness at the at the place where the uh, circle is using simple inset uh, techniques just to give it some sort of thickness so there's something in there, some volume and as I go further I add control loops which uh, control how sharp the edges are gonna look like once I smooth out the mesh using a turbo smooth because in the game development we use a turbo smooth for the assets so they look more realistic and real and so they have the a little bit of shininess at the edges as I smooth out the mesh itself and adding the control edges at the outline of the mesh itself just trying to sharpen up the, the edges as much as I can and if you can see by now okay I think this looks good looks really good and whenever you try to look at the turb uh, turbo smoothed mesh uh, usually I try I try to add a, a material which is more more or less a little bit uh, darker than this just so I can see if there's been any uh, problems along the way maybe there haven't been uh, welded vertices or whatnot the vertices <coughs> simply are the points in space so as you can see I added the darker material just to check if there haven't been any errors and there are so I'm trying to tackle that and I try to clean up the mesh as much as I can and now I'm trying to do that little curvature as you can see on the top which I did by simply moving some of the points up in space now trying to create the handle and the metal part of the handle which is simply uh, created from the cylinder from the basic geometry rollout the cylinder, get into the curvature of the reference, uh, very easy techniques, do a little bit of scaling here and there, 
just try to match everything as close as possible to the reference. And now this shouldn't be a duplicate, this is just my freestyle modeling, I don't necessarily try to duplicate anything, I just try to get close as possible and do a little bit of freestyling as I see it fit. So move vertices up in space, check everything from 360 of the degrees, see everything matches together and I haven't moved anything in space that I wouldn't want to be moved. Do norms, turbo smooth, and just see if everything fits together nicely and it doesn't so I clean up some of the edges as you can see and do some scaling again control loops and just to get a little bit of hardness along the edges as I smooth out everything so it looks more clean and catches that highlight from the lights here I did an FFD modifier and give a little bit of randomness for the for the handle itself so it doesn't look that perfect. Gave a little bit for a little bit of a variation from the side view. And here I'm gonna take care of the top. As you can see, there's a little bit of a handle on the top as well, which is the wooden part. So I created that using uh, double kits of the mesh, just extruding everything in space. The same goes for the straps. Uh, the simple extrude faces from the handle and just duplicate and move everything uh, as I see fit and that's it basically and here I take care of the three angles along the, uh, the top portion of the handle again duplicated the polygons from the X itself just to have the form in place and get everything done faster and voila, I uh, just duplicated the model itself and did a slight rotation for the presentation, added the clay material, I positioned everything as I like and did some lighting and here's the end result. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and click the link below uh, to learn game development in Unreal Engine. Uh, check out the link, it's completely for free and uh, yeah, it's an awesome place to learn everything uh, you see on the screen, okay? So, thank you so much and I'm gonna see you on the next episode, bye!